Hello, this is a lesson on powers of 10 and exponents, and it goes with GoMath lesson 1.4. Uh, our learning intention today is that you can evaluate exponents and use the powers of 10 patterns, there's a whole bunch of patterns, to multiply whole numbers and find the value of that. Um, and the success is that you can use those powers of 10. So um, we're not going to set it up in a kind of the traditional algorithm. We're going to use our powers of 10 knowledge, and then you can uh, evaluate some exponents. You have to have some skills, and one of them is just basic multiplication facts. You have to have that down. And then um, we're going to be talking about base number and exponents. And so that's our vocabulary for today. All right, here are the notes. Uh, and you have to write down what the base number is and what the exponent is and the definitions. And then draw yourself a little diagram of a, a typical problem that's 10 to the fourth power and label the exponent and label the base um, and once you finish with that, please continue the video. All right, there are several things that you have to do for this video. And one of them is you have to write these numbers, this number phrase here, in exponent form uh, and then in word form. There's a whole bunch of ways to say these things, right? But in exponent form, there's only one way to uh, really write that. And so now that you know about base numbers, you know that the base number is the number that's being multiplied, right? And so if I'm going to write this in multi I mean in uh, exponent form, I'm going to take the three tens, right? And I'm not doing three uh, ten times three because it clearly isn't ten times three. It's ten times ten, then another times another ten, right? So if I take the three tens and I make that into the base number, then my exponent tells me how many times was the base number used in the multiplication. It's used one, two, three times, and so my exponent is three. So that is 10 to the third power. Uh, whoa, I can't write 10 today for some reason. That's then. <laughs> no, it's 10 to the third power. Now there's a whole bunch of ways to write that. You can say it's 10 to the uh, third power of 10. It's 10 cubed. That's another way of saying it when you have an exponent of 3. But uh, 10 to the third power will always get you a correct answer. All right, think about this one for a moment. Now, what could the uh, answer be here? We know the base number is a 10, right? Um, it's a 10, and so uh, that's going to be our base number. And my exponent is how many times was that base number used? Or how many instances do, do you see the base number? I see 2, 10 to the second power, 10 to the second power. OK. Uh, and I'm going to give you a tricky one here. Uh, how about this one? 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. That equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. So that's 10 to the 6th power. It's really easy. You just count up how many times the base number or how many instances you see the base number, and that becomes your uh, exponent. All right? And then uh, just naming it, naming it in words. Pretty easy so far, right? All right, but what if you have to go the other way? If you have to do 10 to the third power and find the value of that, what does that equal? Uh, and 10 to the second power, and then we have this thing, like 4 times 10 to the third power. Um, you'll, you'll be able to get this in no time. All right, so 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10, because that's what the exponent tells us. Uh, and so you can kind of do a little bit of, of mental math here. You can go 10 times 10, that's two of them, All right? That's... 100, and then if you multiply the third 10, that's times 10, 100 times 10 is 1,000. Uh, you can do mental math, 10 to the third power is 1,000. But there's kind of a trickier way, easier way to uh, write out the value of um, you know, an exponent form when the base number is a 10. Uh, and here it is, right? The, exponent number will always equal the number of zeros on a 1, right? So if you have 10 to the third power, you write the 1, and then you write three zeros on it. 1, 2, 3. It's the same number, right? Uh, same thing with this one. If you have 2 
uh, zero or two, or the exponent is two, then you write two zeros with a one on it. All right. Um, the trick is, yeah, it's not a great trick because you know what do you do with the zero, uh, and it you just kind of forget about it for a second, right? So it's one. You take the one, and then the the exponent tells you how many zeros to put on it. All right. Now, what do you do with these kind of things? Well, if you already know that 10 to the third power equals 1,000, it's just 4 times 1,000. The other way to look at this is I'm going to write the 4, right, from the here. There's the 4. Uh, and then I'm going to take the zeros from 10 to the third power and write them on the end of the number. All right, so you can either say 10 to the third power is 1,000, 4 times 1,000 is 1,000. Or you can use kind of a tricky form and say the exponent's a 3. Uh, that means three zeros. I'll take the number I'm multiplying and add three zeros to it. Or not add three zeros, but write three zeros on the end of it. And right, it's a couple of different ways of figuring those things out. And your teacher, by the way, will know a couple more. All right, completing the pattern now. Uh, we have these exponents, and it's 5 times something with the the exponents on there. Okay, so 5 times 10 to the 0 power. Now 10 to the 0 power is not 0. That's the common mistake. It just tells you, right, 0 zeros onto the number you're multiplying, right? So 10 or 5 times 10 to the 0 power is 5. Here's a hint. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. Not an exponent of 1. The whole thing to the 0 power equals 1. So 5 times 1 is 5. 10 to the first power means just 1, 10, right? That, that's you multiplying 1, 10. So 5 times 10 to the first power is 50. Do you see how the exponent here and the zeros equal each other? They do. Zero zeros, 1, 0. How many zeros do you think are going to be on this number? You should have already guessed it. There's two zeros plus the 5. Or you can say 10 to the second power, that's 100. 5 times 100 is 500. We already know that 10 to the third power is 1,000. So 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. But you can also look at the number, uh, the exponent here, and know that that means we're going to write three zeros on the end. What about this one? 5 times 10 to the 17th power. How many zeros on the end of the 5 now? Pretty easy, isn't it? I'm not going to write it out because it's going to take a long time. 5 times 10 to the 17th power is 5 with 17 zeros. Never mind. I am going to write it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, comma, comma, comma. That wasn't so hard. Uh, naming that number is going to be kind of hard, though. I'll get back to you on that one. All right, our common mistakes today are thinking that 10 to the 0 power is 0. It is not 0. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. So let's just explore that for a second. 5 to the 0 power, you know what that equals? 1. 13 to the 0 power, you know what that equals? One, you got it. Anything to the zero power equals one. Uh, and there's all kinds of explanations on the internet that I'm not going to go into now. All right, your task, page 18 and 19, 90% accuracy. Good luck, everybody.